Pensaron que me estaba ahogando. What Maria González says she found in her food when she went to Lynn's buffet last Friday night made her lose her dinner. Le vi la cola. I took a closer look and I saw its tail and I started throwing up. You may not be able to tell what it is right away unless you pick it up. Para que lo quieran ver, lo pueden ver aquí, lo que viene en la comida. Para que se dé cuenta la gente. Maria says what made her even more angry was the manager's reaction. Me regresó mi dinero. Me... He gave me my money back. He just wanted me to leave. I asked him for a to-go box and he said to just take the plate and leave. Leave is what he wanted us to do as well as we interviewed Maria outside Lynn's buffet. That's your problem. I think you have a problem. Uh, I mean, you, don't, you don't know, you weren't sitting in the table now, so you don't know. The manager went on to say the woman might have put the mouse on the food herself, but the crowd around us said they were witnesses. Lorena Gonzalez was about to enter the buffet when she realized what was happening. It's a health issue that um, nobody's doing anything about it, that the managers just told us to leave, to not tell anybody. That same night, I went inside the restaurant and asked for the owner, and I was told to leave once again. I looked into the restaurant and found out Lynn's Buffet has a long history of violations. According to the health department website, in a period of eight months, Lynn's failed six unannounced inspections by food inspectors. Now, this weekend, food inspectors showed up after someone reported the mouse incident. Inspectors didn't find any presence of rodents, but Lynn's failed the routine inspection once again. They had to close for about several hours in order to correct those violations. Just knowing that, that mice carry so many diseases, um, I mean, even if it's cooked and everything.